40 miles away in Anaheim, Disneyland is tightening security because of the threat of terrorism. Disney World in Florida is doing it as well. Anna Werner is there. White tents went up at Disney World entrances today with metal detectors inside. Park officials tell us visitors will be randomly selected for secondary screenings, a move that's similar to that used by Major League Sports and entertainment venues. Disney officials said they've already added visible and non-visible security measures, including more uniformed officers and specially trained dogs. Once inside, guests will no longer see toy guns, not even water pistols. They've been removed from Disney stores and visitors will not be allowed to bring them into the parks. One official told us they want to make sure that a toy gun doesn't cause distraction or confusion for staff and security personnel. And one more change, anyone 14 years or older will no longer be allowed to wear costumes into the parks, so security screening will be easier. The Fitzhugh family of Osceola, Indiana, drove 20 hours straight to Orlando for an all-Disney vacation, arriving just as the new security protocols were being put in place. It's sad. I mean, it's sad that things have to happen that, that, that go on in this world anymore. 16-year-old Clara, a high school sophomore, says the changes make her feel better about visiting the parks. Yeah, I do think it will be safer because, I mean, you never know people's intentions. Disney isn't the only park making these changes. Universal and SeaWorld also announced they're taking similar precautions. Scott, they say it's not just about keeping people safe. They want people visiting the parks to feel safe. Anna Werner, thanks, Anna.